Okay, so uh, the untrained mind gets it into patterns, and so you can use patterns against the person. So uh, let, let's say like he, he's come in a few times, or boom, and you throw the front kick, right? Or maybe you've come in, boom, and you, you throw the front kick. So you get them in a pattern, and now he looks for the front kick. And if you hit him hard enough, his body reacts to the pain, and so a lot of times the hands just drop out of a sympathetic, unconscious squeeze of his body, okay? So once you got him in a pattern, then what you're going to do is feint with the front kick. So it, it looks to him like the front kick's coming, but you're looking for the hands to drop in that unconscious sympathetic squeeze. So I don't go deep into the front kick, I just fake the front, face the front kick, and come in with the lead jab. So boom, fake the front kick. Fake with the front kick. So what makes it look like the kick's coming? Hips square, the weight shifting that I use on the front kick, I keep as much of the front kick as possible without taking away from the lead hand. Okay, so if I go deep into the front kick, I took away from the, from the lead hand. If I don't go deep enough, it doesn't work. So as deep into the boom, pop. And this is a bridging technique. How do I close this gap without getting hit? Okay, let's go. All right, so last time we were doing the, uh, let's see, I did, you did the jab, and I, boom, and then he's coming back with the rear headlock, right? So he's doing the jab, boom, rear headlock, and I'm moving inside of this circle, okay? I'm doing the same exact thing here. I'm moving inside. The one who's inside the circle generates the spiral, okay? So, uh, trap, post, move them out, the leg will get light, and I, now I'm gonna move inside of this circle that I'm generating here. So, over I go, here, and then I back up into it. Trap, so you don't need to grab it, you're just stopping him from posting out. Post, post, that's what you're stopping. So he's got my legs, trap, trap, armpit, bring the leg to you, inside his circle. You, you want to feel none of his weight or his pressure, okay? the feint that, that we threw, I reached the common ground between the kick and the forward progress of the jab. So I bring as much of the kick and then in that common ground is where the fake is to the jab. If I go past the common ground, if I complete too much of the cycle of action of the front kick, 
I take away from it and it's just a kick followed by a left hand. And you won't have the uh, effect you want. In your Nawaza, it was about fulfilling each cycle of action so that you can operate inside their cycle of action. And that's what you're doing here too. So I come around, boom. If I don't have this uh, ground vector here, but I have it like this, then I'm gonna have to reach over. And that is not martial. I'm not strong enough to do that. I don't have the leverage, and I've exposed my rib cage to the punch. So you have to complete the cycle of action. Then inside, here, where it fits. If you, if you do that, his arm's already there. You don't have to pull this down. So do the first cycle of action. Boom, inside. Here. This hand hasn't done anything yet because to do something is to pull. This hand just takes his balance this way. So as it takes his balance this way, then it brings the other hand to where you want it to be. Then I just keep guiding him and he falls and I stay up with him. So complete your cycles. No, no, no. These are all yang yang pulls. So, boom, boom, fit, turn, stay up with him. Complete, boom, in, here. You're feeling yourself pulling, you're not doing it. Find that inner space. Ooh, here. Stay away from the pulley. Okay, so uh, let's look at this positioning here. So what I want to do is get this shoulder down lower. So if I go to pull this, I don't really do that. Because that foot is the countering foot that you should expect. So when I grab the elbow, and do a pulling, a pulling action, he's gonna get that foot under there. And then you're here. When I use the other hand and do a turning action, this shoulder got lower, it's harder for that foot. It's not impossible. Athletes can get that foot under there. Under there. Do you see? But that's exactly what I want because that sets up the shikaku on the spiral. You, you should expect that they're going to step. So, one, look to get that shoulder down. He's going to step. Do it as best you can. 
And that sets up the shikaku outside that foot, so stay there. So once he takes that step, that's what sets that up. So Yeruke is gonna, is gonna step now, and nothing should change for you. But they're gonna try to resist that foot. Try to resist, okay? Try to resist. And yeah, it's just bustling him. Instead, respect the foot and use the foot. Have that energy bounce back into you. So he, he, same way he, he pushes, right? And he, he bounces off of the ground pop. It's the same thing here. Boom, he gets his foot on, boom, boom, it's just bouncing back into him. Now to overpower it. Here. Watch your head. So who guys resisted your technique? Okay, let's go. Master grip, so you just work it. Don't go for your gut right here at this time. You're, you're behind the curve, okay? But this way I get to bah! If you're gonna if you're gonna seek distance, right, then it should be a CoQ projection and not a push. So I'm not calling it. Let's go Q, okay? And then you'll find your, your weapon. And then again, don't contest. Don't contest. Right, yield. Okay, let's go. We're gonna take the GU aspect out of it, okay? So she, she's gonna come in. I'm gonna seek this contact. Okay, so she's coming in. I'm gonna catch the wrist and the elbow. And there's, there's my IK adhesion. And then I'll come up top. Boom, pop here. Okay? And then I'll draw my weapon. So, key is you're not just slapping it out of the way. And you're not just moving out of the way. I have to send her that way. So, contact. Boom! So, with your adhesion, you do that. Don't do it with your grab. Don't do it with the grab. Okay? Not, not even this grab here. Just keep, keep the thing on, boom, pop. And then you have your weapon. So that's, that's gonna be the first technique. Boom, pop. Consciousness, so sure, boom, and forget. 